Hello everybody, welcome back to the Sword and Shield video here today. Uh, it's been a minute since I've done this. The last time I did this was the release of Sun and Moon. It was the exact same video. So if you were wondering what my thoughts were for my top 10 favorite mods uh, from Sun and Moon, I will leave that link in the description. There'll be a little card for it as well too. But yeah, I get this question a lot and I typically do when games come out. at the brand new Pokemon game. So I figured, all right, Let's just get it out of the way before the year ends. It's very ironic that they're on the same time too, but he's going to be the top 10 best new Pokemon in my personal opinion, like my favorites, best in terms of me. No best not meaning like competitively, just what I think is the best in the 10 of that. So if you like videos like these, you want to see more, hit that like button down below, guys. Subscribe for more Sword of Shield content. I do a lot of daily battles, a ton of daily FFA content for that. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. So Number 10 Copperja. I love this beast. I love it. Uh, if you guys know me personally on my channel I've been asking for an elephant Pokemon for a long time. That is an actual elephant Don fan is like, you know a midget elephant. He's very small I think he's like two feet tall and then Copperja. He's a big boy. That boy is tall But it's still really weird because game free can't perfectly get elephants. You know like we have Don fan like I said, he's short. We have Musharna. That's like a dream spirit elephant. You know what I mean? Like it, it's weird. And then now we have Copper Copperaja, or I've heard some people say Copperaja. I'm not sure. Like I love the whole line of Cupid and Copperaja, but he's built like a bar of soap with an elephant trunk and feet. So it's really weird, but um, I still like him at the end of the day. I do, uh, especially in comparison uh, to everything else. Um, but yeah, you know what it is. So you guys get the jazz. I love this guy. I do. I think the colors contrast well. He's G Max. I wasn't completely sold on right away. It's just one of those things that, like, over time, I slowly started to like it. I don't know. It looks kind of cool, right? Like, it's like some type of weird Buddha type of thing. It's weird, but, but a wall. You know, it's weird, but I like it. It's also Rose mascot. Two thumbs up. Love it. Number nine, I'm going to give it to my boy Ice Q. Uh, gonna be completely honest with you guys, I did not like this mod at all the first time I saw it. Like, at least it's unshaved form. Like, when he has the shaved face on, uh, he has the ice cube on. I love it. But when he has it off, I'm not a fan. Both are kind of growing on me, but, uh, originally I wasn't a big fan of this mod at all. It's one of those things that really grew on me. I mean, I love the cry. It's a penguin. Uh, I like it's shiny, believe it or not. And it's also a beast and competitive. It's an insane sweeper. Uh, for whatever reason, in Sword and Shield, they've given us like 50 freaking sweepers. So go off, I guess. But he really grew on me. I like him a lot. He's really derpy looking. And I mean, one of my favorite mods is Pelipper. So I, you already know, I, I, I gotta love the thing. I have to for Bird Nation, for Bird Gang. So two thumbs up. I love Ice Cube. I love Ice Types. Really growing on me. That's my guy. Number eight, there should be no surprise. I'm sure everybody loves this mod. If you don't, you're literally trying to not like this Pokemon. I'm going to give it to my guy, Corviknight. Shout out, Corviknight. He's an absolute monster when it comes to the game. Uh, not to mention, his design off is one of the first earliest mods we've seen from the game. And he's really cool. He's like this cool, like, goth, like, emo raven. And I'm sold on that. I love it. Um, he's also like pretty much Corvus Squire, but a knight. He could become from a squire to a knight, obviously, because of the name contrast. But it's really interesting because he literally, by picture by picture, is actually Corvus Squire, but with armor plated on. So that's really interesting. Uh, not to mention, I wasn't the biggest fan on the G Max. Uh, the G Max is also kind of grown on me now that it's almost been two months. But it's one of the things that it still looks. A little underwhelming in comparison to other G-Max forms, but it's still a beast. Uh, it's got probably one of, if not the number one coolest shiny in the game. He's like some cool ancient looking uh, type of bird thing, like a gargoyle almost, right? So he looks really cool. I like that. I love it. I mean, I don't really have to say much about Corviknight. You look at it. Yeah, they like it or you don't. I've yet to meet anybody that doesn't like it. And if you don't like it, you probably don't like edgy things, but I... <sighs> Look, man, nobody like nobody dislikes this mon. We love it. We stand it. Number seven. I think another mon that everybody also likes. Toxtricity. The moment I first saw this guy, I was sold. I was like, bruh. We first off have never had this type of combination before. So Game Freak, keep doing stuff like this. I love getting brand new type of combinations, especially ones that are insanely good, both defensively and offensively. 
Like, he only has two real weaknesses, being psychic and ground. Obviously, he's times forward to one of them, but it gets away with it because he deals out so much power. Oh my god. And then it's one of those things as well, too, that he just looks so cool. He looks insane. Like, he, I don't even know what he is. I know he's based off a guitar, and he's based off a bass, depending on amped and low-key form. But I think he's like some weird dinosaur looking thing, like some dinosaur salamander. Some sort of a dinosaur or something, because a baby version Toxil looks like a little baby Triceratops. And then we have this guy, and it looks like some weird hybrid Triceratops standing on two feet. But he looks cool regardless. I mean, the concept behind him is really cool. I'm an absolute like Gideon when it comes to electric types. So I, I'm also a big soul in that. And I also love power. He's a really cool hidden ability, punk rock. Sorry, just regular ability. Boost the power of sound moves. It's sick. I love the guy. We have an electric sound move now. That's my goat. Number six, my actual goat here. I think people might be surprised as to how low he might be. But my boy Cramorant is 1,000% up there, dog. He is a goat. I love Cramorant, dog. That's my guy. He'd be a lot higher, too. And he probably will get a lot higher for me, personally, as, like, the months go on. But, dude, he is a beast. For number one, he's actually not fodder. He's not actual garbage like a lot of people think. He's not bad, actually. I mean, his contact move, once he has the fish down his throat, no pause, he drops your defense and does damage, dog. That's clean. With Pikachu, it paralyzes you, bro. Not to mention, one of the most coldest shinies in the game. Majority of the shinies in the game, they look the same. But uh, Cramorant, he's one of those mons that actually does not have a shiny that looks exactly the same. It's very different. It's a polar opposite. And I think it's also based on some bird from the UK that like, got dipped in oil. So the lore behind it is really cool. I mean, it's pretty much Galarian Pelipper. Um, and it's also really interesting too because he's primary flying. And I know some people may think it doesn't matter, but we rarely have any primary flyings. So it's really cool to see that we got a lot in this game. We have the whole Rookity line, Cramorant. I think there's another one that I'm not remembering, but uh, it's just really cool. I love that. Cramorant, goat. Number five, though, getting to the top five now, Dragapult. He's an absolute monster. Dude's a Lottie of the game. He is Latios and Gengar put together into one Pokemon. My dude's a monster. Uh, amazing design, amazing pseudo, amazing Pokemon. He does everything, literally everything. I, at first, I thought he was shooting his dead kids when now he's just flat out shooting his kids and they're alive. So, I, I, it's like, do we, do we just reload? Are we, are we impregnating another Dragon Ball? Like, what's going on here? Like, the kids? Well, let's go with the kids. Let's go with the little Dreepies. But it's really cool. First time I saw it, I thought it was going to be a bug dragon. I can't lie to you. But it ended up being a ghost dragon, which I'm not completely against. Um, it's also in a different type of combination. Kiratina's ghost dragon, and this one is dragon ghost. First time type of combination in that order. So that's really cool. Uh, not to mention, we haven't had the dual typing as well, too, since Giratina. So it's really cool that some legendary Pokemon, their typings are now coming down to other Pokemon. So I got, I got, a, I got a thumbs up. They did that last one, I should do a Turnator. Our only Dragon Fire was Reshiram. So big shout out to that. Big shout out. Uh, number four, it should be no surprise. I mean, I love this mon since the get-go, and the evolution line became even better. But my boy Grimmsnarl, again, probably my favorite shiny out of the entire game is Grimmsnarl. Uh, G-Max is insane, especially with shiny. It's raw as heck. Uh, my queen Marnie had it, so it's even better. Not to mention, it's one of the first other type of combination, Dark Fairy. He's a troll. If you guys know me on this channel, I've been asking for a Dark Fairy troll for about two years now. So, that's just crazy. Like, it's just crazy that that all worked out you know like it just all worked out it all came together and i'm like all right game freak listen i don't know i i don't know if y'all got it for me or not i might have to get a check but the royalty is like that shit is clean dog he's not to mention he's so good like it's one of those mods that i knew he'd be good on paper but now actually like playing the game he is so good Prankster, dual screens, thunder wave, bulk up, rest talk is priority, so his breath, priority, darkest lariat, because the rest talk, dog, it's just, he's so good, dog, he, he's just, he is insane, I love everything about this mon, he's cracked out, <laughs> shout out Gamer for making such an amazing mon, top three, it's gonna get even crazier here now, number three, I've been pretty much jerking this guy off on my entire channel for about a month and a half now, dude, but my boy Zashin is top three, dude, I know you guys are probably just sitting here thinking, oh, it's lame, he likes legendary so much, so if you don't know me, I actually really like legendaries, 
I mean, legendary Pokemon are always, always, always a big plus for me when it comes to the decks. So I was very disappointed to see that we only got three. And out of the three, I like all of them, I do. But Zashi and I obviously like way more than the refs. Initially, I did prefer Zamazenta, but as the game's been out, um, <sighs> look, dog, it's not fair that they made Zashian just so much stronger than the others. Like, so much stronger than the others, dude. It's actually crazy. But Zashian, I made a video on it. If you guys want to watch it, I think he is actually better than Mega Rayquaza. And if you want to find out why, the video is in the card tab or somewhere in this video, all right? But dude's cracked out. Dude's a beast. Dude is probably one of the strongest legendary Pokemon we've ever gotten. Uh, not necessarily in lore wise, but. Well, maybe too, because Eternatus was pretty much going to destroy the world, and Zashin was able to beat this thing, so what are they, planetary level? <laughs> I have no idea, dude, but regardless, Zashin is a beast, dude. I love the dog. He looks really cool. Uh, he's like Suicune, but more rugged, and Zamazenta is like, I guess, Entei, but more clean. <laughs> so we didn't really get a Raikou variant here. It would have been really cool to get three dogs. We got two. No complaints, but I love Fairy Steel. It's probably one of my favorite type of combinations. It's my favorite type of combination within the game. So that's a big plus already. Uh, dog Sword. What more do you need to say? Dog Holding Sword. That's it. GG's. Number two. This should be no surprise either. It was the first mine. I shiny hunt My boy Drake Zolt. He is an absolute beast. I made a video on him as well too. Between him or Drake of Dish. Who actually dishes out more damage. Uh, you guys should check that out too if you didn't watch it. But enough of the plugs. Drake Zolt, he's an absolute monster. Uh, obviously top of the ladder when it comes to OU. My dude's up there with all the other fish as well too. But I like Drake Zolt more. If you guys know me, I'm a sucker for dinosaurs. I love raptors mainly. And Drake Zolt is like a weird scuffed raptor. Because he's a raptor. But then everything below his torso is just huge. Huge. Put that in any context you want. No homo. All that. Say what you need to say. But dog. It's actually insane how hard this guy hits. 100 base, pull peak priority, hustle, band. Like, he does so much. Not so much with Dynamax. He puts up the terrain with Max Surge. So, it's just... Dog, he does so much damage. It's insane how many mods are so good in this game in their own ways, dude. Like, it's so insane how majority of the roster is just so viable. But, again, I, like I told you guys, I love electro types. I also love dragon types, too. But mainly, electro type is my number one favorite typing. So, I love the fact that we've got a lot of strong electro types within this game. Uh, so, that's a big plus. I mean, before we get to our number one, uh, some honorable mentions. My boy, Pink Kirchen. I love you, dog. Hey, I love you, dog. Another I will mention my boy Darmanitan. I love you, dog. I love them boys, man. But obviously, this is should be the most obvious thing ever. It's literally on the thumbnail. But my boy Phalanx is my number one favorite mon. I was already in love with this mon when I saw him getting leaked and data mined. So I was a sucker when I initially saw it. I thought that it was a caterpillar. Then I saw him move. I was losing my mind. I was losing my mind because the first time I got leaked, it was only the little mini sprite that you see within your party. So all of us thought that it was a caterpillar. Come to find that he's pure fighting, doesn't evolve, totally fine. I wish he had a Gigantamax toe. I feel robbed that he didn't get one to be some like ultimate Trojan horse warrior type of thing. But no, dude, it's just such a shame they didn't get that, dude. I mean, look, they can get Megas. You know, who's to say Genemons can't Mega Evolve? They could very much get Megas or alternate variants from any, you know, upcoming generations we get. Sononian, Africanian, Australian. I don't know, dog. Whatever comes next, dog. But these guys are so cold, bro. They look like little mini Kirby's trooped up in a little line, dude. Uh, I love their cute little wobbles, dude. Uh, I mean, I like fighting types, so the typing is really cool. I love the design the most because it really carries it. Not to mention, when I saw the move No Retreat, I lost my mind. Like, I genuinely lost my mind. I was genuinely shocked to see such an insane animation on a move. I was fighting for it. I was like, dog, this and Powerball are like the two best animated moves in the game. It's crazy, dude. Not to mention, the guy is an absolute tank. Dynamax, this, you know retreat? Dynamax, this guy, have a seat on, depending on the terrain. He will be so juiced up, bro, I promise. But hey, that's my top 10. Let me know your top 10 down in the comments down below, guys. If you want to see more videos like this, hit that like button down below, guys. Subscribe, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one.